Hi guys, it's Olga here with a quick video on how to edit your Burstat template in Google. Here are a few examples. It's super easy and super fun. You can change the colors and the size of the design. Let's take a look at how it's done. Your download will be a PDF file. You can double click and you find a number of links inside. There are two ways to edit, online in Google and offline in PowerPoint. The blue links are uh, to download the PowerPoint files. And today we're going to look at the orange links, which are for Google and for editing online. Let's say we pick boy 8 times 10 inch. Click the link. This is what you will see. And we're going to make a copy which will automatically store on your own Google Drive. First, I'll show you the straightforward use of the template. If you don't want to make any changes and just want to use it as it is, and I'll show you how to print it and how to download it as a PDF. And then we'll go back to look at any additional changes you can make. So let's start with the name. You double click the name and you can type over the sample text. Let's say we have Jackson. It's really easy. But let's say you have a name that's a little longer and it doesn't fit in the box that's provided. Like Sebastian. Then we highlight the text and you can uh, change the size of the font here on the upper box. You can choose one of the default values. Um, and if you want to adjust, you can also type in a number um, like 63, make it just a tiny bit larger. Go to the calendar to type in the birth date. Oh, oops, I need to look, use the caps lock for capitals. Zero four twelve twenty twenty and born at seven point twelve AM. Now we can adjust the handles of the clock. I'm going to zoom in a bit to two hundred percent. I keep the big hands. And grab this little handle to rotate the hands of the clock. So, big hand on the 12. And it's on 7. And just a little bit further. Yep, that looks fine. Go to zoom out again. I'm going to weight of the baby, let's say 7 pounds, 8 ounces, and 19.3 inches long. And that's it for the basic use. That was really easy, right? We're now ready to print our design. Let's click on the printer. And for the best result, I recommend a matte or silk gloss high quality photo paper to get the best results. If you click this little arrow, you'll get some additional settings. Here you can choose the paper size. And here you have to take notice, you have to set this to custom 100% uh, to make sure that your print will print at the actual size you have chosen. There's a really faint gray line for easy trimming so your print will fit in the frame you bought. Um, if you don't want to print straight away, you can save your file as a PDF. 
let's say I will save it on my desktop, give it a name, Sebastian Burstadt's template. And you can save it for later. Or take it to your local print shop. There it is. And have it printed for you. And you can print from here as well, of course. Now let's get back to Google and see what other fun changes we can make. We chose 8 by 10 inches for the size. But let's say you, uh, your best friend got a baby and you want to send her a beautiful personalized new baby card. And you want to resize and make it smaller. We're going to File, Page Setup. It's good to take into account that the ratio of the design is 4 to 5. So if you are going to resize, it's best uh, to take note of that. You can do uh, 4.75 by 6 or 5.5 by 7. Uh, for now I'm going to do 4 by 5. And hit apply. It doesn't look like much has changed. But when we go to the print preview we can see that uh, now it's a lot smaller. Now let's say you want this to be actually a huge shine or banner and put it in your front yard for the whole neighborhood to see. That's also possible. You can make it really big if you like. Go back to page setup and let's say 40 by 50 inches. It doesn't, again, it doesn't look like much has changed, but when we go to print preview, you can see now you only have a small piece that will print. So it's gone very large. Now it was only showing this little piece. I'll undo the resizing. We'll get back to 8 by 10 inches. Let me see. Yep, that's back to 8 by 10 inches. Of course, a sign of 40 by 50 inches you cannot uh, print at home. So in that case, you will download the file and bring it to your local print service. That's it uh, for the size. Now let's move on to the colors. I think it's pretty special that you can change all the colors of the design uh, to match your uh, nursery colors or just your style. And I'm pretty happy I got that to work, so I hope you'll enjoy. There are two places in the menu that we need for changing the colors. First, uh, for changing the text color, we have here the text color menu. And for changing the graphics colors, these are the graphics. You can find the color there. There's a default palette where you can choose from, but there are also some custom, uh, you can customize the colors here. There's a slider for the hue. And the circle you can fine tune the color. Now let's say we are going for a nautical theme. Find a nice blue. And the color chain. Let's see, we'll make the banner a nice red. And these graphics. I'm going for a gray. Maybe a bit lighter. Let's see. No, I like the other one better. We'll change all the graphic colors first. And then we'll uh, do the text to match. Let's see. Ooh, that's bright. Let's fine tune that a bit. A little darker. Let's see. Yes. Now for the text. I highlight text. 
And as you can see, the custom colors are added here down below. So that's easy to pick. Also, you can um, select multiple objects by holding down the shift key on your keyboard. These are all the same color, so I'll, choose, I'll change that in one big swoop. The time. Let's go red. Oh, that's text. <laughs> and the hands of the clock. Also red. Well, that's looking really cute, I think. Now let's say you want to change the color of the background of the design. You go to background and choose color and pick a nice color. Um, maybe like a teal color. Oh, that's a bit dark, I think. Maybe a light shade. Yes. And we're going to make all the graphics white. Again, I'm holding down the shift key to select multiple and set that to white. Also the hands of the clock, I tend to forget them, I don't know why. And then the text, also select multiple. And turn it to white. Now these have disappeared because they already were white, so we are going to recolor those to the background color. I think this one. Yep. This is also a nice style, right? Now there's one other special thing you can do, and that's placing a picture in the background. Go to choose image, browse, and for instance pick a picture of your baby. Let's see how that looks. Look at that. That's cute, right? Let's add a little drop shadow to the graphics to make them pop from the background. Select all and go to format options, drop shadow and you can play around with the settings. At the angle and the distance of the shadow. And that makes it pop a little. I think that looks fab. Now to adjust the color of these numbers a little. So it matches the background better. Just eyeball it a bit. So let's see. Right. That about covers it, I think. I hope you'll enjoy a template for a long time to come. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Bye bye.